This is Jordan Stauber with InWorld Captured. And this in this tutorial on After Effects, we will be talking about masks. And in our previous tutorials, I've explained almost all the basics of After Effects, with keyframes and adjustment layers and making new composition and importing footage and stuff like that. So if you didn't see that, check those out. Links in the description. But on with this tutorial on masks and Let's get on with it. So masks in After Effects are very useful because basically you just, just like crop out parts of the layer that you want. So in this one, we're just going to, let's say, let's say we want, for some odd reason, crop out this half of the, of, of the layer. Now, there really isn't a useful thing for this right now in this video, but I'm sure if you're making a video, there will be use all the time. So, but this is just an example. So basically, we have our max. So I'm gonna just gonna show you all the different stuff you could do with max. So but all of this you can animate over time using the stopwatch tool, which we explored in our last tutorial. Check that out in the description. And let's just go through. So feather just feathers the edges. Yes, but. I always wondered what why there are two of these. There should only be one. Well, if you take that off, the constraint thing, now you can only feather the sides. See how the top doesn't get feathered? Or you can feather only the top. Now there aren't much uses for that, but I'm sure you will find something useful to use that for. Anyways, next opacity just what the opacity is on the layer inside and then mask expansion um like making it the margin bigger or or smaller so basically like that um little trick if you want to feather out the edges but not so much not like that much but you're still getting and then you can just go in a little bit it's kind of a cool look um anyways that's all the options you have on Max. Now quickly, just a little tutorial on animating them over time. This is what you're gonna use the most. Let's say we wanted it to follow the person. So we're just gonna click the animate tool and then we're gonna go when he's over here. And we're just gonna, hold on. Just gonna bring, oops, oops, oops. We gotta click this and bring it over here. Whatever, fine. Now it should like, Follow him a little bit. No, 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 no. Not such useful here, but I'm sure at some point in time you will need to know how to do that. But masks can be animated any parts of them. So you can animate, bring that in. So I'm just going to change. So, like, if you wanted to do that, um, so you can animate any corner. And if you wanted to add a corner, just go to the pen tool, add one here, and then bring that in or out, and bring that in. Um, something that I've noticed, if you want to edit the corners and bring them in and stuff separately, you have to have the layer selected, and then each corner will turn like, like a circle, sort of. As you can see, if I zoom in, um, yeah, it's like a circle over here. But if you have the mask selected, it will be a square, and then you can like edit each one. It it edits like the whole thing, sort of. So yeah. So if you want to edit each one, you have to bring the circle in, or you could just edit this and bring that in and out, or you can edit each one um, by selecting here. So yeah, little useful tip. Um, and yeah, masks can be animated over time. I use them all the time. I use them and every everything I make and you will also so just play around with them you'll get the hang of it and that's basically it for max next tutorial is the last one on after effects for the introduction of it and it will be on rendering everything and what I use to render what the settings I use to render the stuff and how to render and then after the after after effects introduction is done I'm gonna be doing premiere 
And then after that, we're going to come back to After Effects with some advanced tutorials and just special effects and stuff like that, like muzzle flashes and explosions and all the cool stuff that you want to learn how to do. So play around with everything I've taught you. Subscribe um, the next and watch the next tutorial here. And then subscribe to our other channel, also World Captured, and follow us on Facebook or Twitter or whatever, at World Captured and Instagram and everything. Okay, thank you. Peace out. Bye.